Hearts. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's grocery haul. I'm so happy you stopped by. I have quite the grocery haul for you this week. I did a little bit of shopping at both Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and of course, as always, went to Trader Joe's to pick up my produce. I did find a few new food finds that I'm super excited to share with you guys. I'm going to share my meal plan for the week for dinners, and we're going to talk about what you're going to see on Monday for meal prep. So lots of goodness in this video. So if you want to see this week's My WW Grocery Haul, stay tuned. <music> So here is this week's grocery haul. I didn't have to get as much as last time, which is nice. I did, of course, like I mentioned, went to Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. Did find some new things, so I can't wait to share those with you guys. So let's jump right in. So incredibly excited to see Zevia in a 10 pack. So a six pack of Zevia, like I've mentioned before, is about $4.99. This 10 pack was only $5.99. So a dollar more for four more cans. This is new. I have yet to see this in a store. So I was excited. They did not have all of the flavors, but this one's my very favorite. Anyways, I love the ginger root beer. So score on the Zevia. I also grabbed a whole case of water just because we were running a little bit low on bottled water. I needed lemon juice for recipes and then I've even been putting this in my water to kind of pump up the lemon flavor once the real lemon kind of loses a little bit of its lemoniness, if that's a word, I'll add in some lemon juice. This is a new find. I actually picked this up because it was on sale for $2.19 and it is good through the 24th of June. This is the Better Bean Cuban Style Black Beans. So basically what this is, I believe from what I read at the store, is it's basically a bean dip. It has fantastic ingredients. I thought you could dip chips in this. You could put this on tacos or on quesadillas. So basically it is a black bean dip that's already made up. So I was really excited and actually it's probably zero points. Let me look at the ingredients. Oh, nope, there's olive oil in there. Okay, so we do have to count the points, but you can have a half of a cup for 150 calories. There's only three servings in this entire container. So of course the points will be here on the screen, but this was new, non-GMO, really excited to try this. I thought it'd be good with those Siete chips. And then for lunches, my husband wanted tuna and we have a few cans in the pantry. So I just picked up this other big can so that I have enough for the week. My favorite butter was on sale. Normally this is $4.99 and it was on sale for $2.99 with an expiration date of late July. So I picked up two because I've been using this a lot in recipes and in baking and cooking. I love this butter so much. And then I had to throw my Dijon mustard away. It was expired, although there was barely maybe a tablespoon or two left. So I just basically restocked my Dijon with the Simple Truth Organic. And then I decided to grab some organic chicken thighs because I really am a feeling like cooking these up and making like a chicken taco. And I think that the chicken thighs just have a lot more flavor. They're a lot more tender when it comes to things like tacos. So I picked up a pack of those. Of course, a refill on the shredded light cheese from Trader Joe's. This is literally like my favorite cheese. And you can have an entire quarter cup or one ounce for three points, which is really, really good. And it does not taste light or low fat. So love it. And then I've actually never bought this, but I needed this for a recipe. This is veg all. I was bummed that they did not have organic because there's potatoes in here and beans actually, which are all on the dirty dozen but I needed this for a recipe and buying individual cans of every single one of these vegetables just really didn't make a lot of sense. So anyways, got it. Not really happy that it's not organic, but again, just for that singular recipe. Of course, some of my organic feta from Trader Joe's. You guys know how I feel about my salads and I really like having feta or blue cheese. So I decided this time to grab feta just because it's a little less calories, a little less points, love feta. And then I've heard all about these and I've never bought them, but I wanted to give these a try. These are the patio potato chips. So it has salt and vinegar, barbecue, ketchup, and smoking sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. How cute is this packaging? Like seriously cute. So I thought it would be fun to pair with a sandwich for lunch. Now I think it's made with a oil that I don't love. Let's say, oh, there's natural flavors and natural smoke flavor, which I think that's fine. 
Um, I actually don't even, oh, canola oil. Yeah, not a big fan that there's canola oil in there, natural flavors. But this falls in that 10% and I thought it would be a nice little fun treat to have with a sandwich for lunch. And then I found these for my husband. And actually, I don't think the points on these are too bad, but I was trying to come up with something a little different for his lunch. These are the Entenmann's mini apple pies. So these are like those really delicious, oily, greasy apple pies, but mini versions of them. So I grabbed these for his lunch. And again, I will put the points here on the screen. And then a restock of his fruit snacks, which are the Welch's. These are actually not bad. They're three points per package. So if you are someone that likes fruit snacks, this is actually a pretty good option. Hemp seeds for a recipe. And then I actually like to put these on my salads. You can actually put these in to oatmeal bowls, quinoa bowls. You can even put these in smoothies. So Trader Joe's has a great price for $5.99. I would have bought these on Thrive, but they were sold out. So I ended up getting them at Trader Joe's. And then I grabbed some organic white rice. This is for a couple of recipes. I love the throw in the microwave three minute Trader Joe's rices, but this one is actually for a risotto and it needs rice that can go in the instant pot. So I grabbed that. You guys know this is our favorite shrimp ever. I love, love, love the private selection of the wild caught Argentinian red shrimp. These are so good. They are literally a buttery lobster texture, like it says. The best frozen shrimp if you have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger near you. Picked up some red, uh, red, no, white wine for a recipe. And then whatever is left, we can just have if we would like a glass of wine here and there. And then I a couple of sweet treats at Trader Joe's. So this one I mainly got for my husband, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad in points either. These are the strawberry Greek yogurt parfait bars. It says Greek yogurt bars with strawberries and granola clusters. So I thought that sounded absolutely delicious. And then I have heard that these are amazing and I do love the hold the cone. These are the minis chocolate chip. So there's three cones in a serving for 280 calories. So one cone is going to be less than hundred calories. So I thought that that wouldn't be too bad. It'd be a really quick, easy, low calorie, low point dessert. So I had to get those. You'll definitely, I'll report back on those and these Greek yogurt bars because I'll actually give both of those a try. Everything else I have is produce. So I grabbed some organic blueberries, cherries, and raspberries. I actually need the raspberries for meal prep. You guys wait till you see what I'm making for meal prep. And it called for raspberries for that. And then whatever's left over, we'll just eat. I needed some more onions. So these are the organic desert sun onions. So just basically a yellow onion. Brussels sprouts for a recipe. I loved having these as part of my meal prep this last week. I love Brussels sprouts so much. So I grabbed those. My husband asked for veggies and dip in his lunches, so I grabbed some organic sugar snap peas and carrots. Those are the two veggies he requested with those little individual containers of ranch that you can buy pre-portioned, pre-ready to go. I actually had a coupon for a free bag of private selection frozen fruit, and since berries are on the Dirty Dozen and they don't make them organic in the private selection brand, I grabbed these peach slices. I thought that that would be a safe way to have frozen fruit that wasn't organic for smoothies and it was free so you can't beat it and then some zucchini I actually needed this for a recipe as well as for snacking I like to dip this in hummus I like to roast these up as a side dish for dinner I really do love zucchini and then of course some more organic lemons for my water these are fantastic this little bag for less than two dollars lasts me the entire week so that is everything that i picked up i did grab a couple of non-food things some disinfectant wipes jet dry shampoo for my husband and some mouthwash if you guys want to see the non-food items let me know down in the comments and i'll include those in my grocery hauls so that is it for the week and now let's take a look at my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on monday for meal prep as always, I'm using my Carriel meal planner. You guys know I love this thing. I have not been on their website lately. I'm not sure if they have the spiral bound, but they did have to lay off their employees due to COVID, and I don't know if they've been able to bring them back. But if they do, I highly recommend the spiral bound meal planner. It is so nice, you guys. There's a weekly menu every single week. You can actually plan all your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I generally just plan my dinners here because I meal prep breakfast and lunch, but you have the option of doing all your meals. You have the detachable grocery list. I use that every single month. There's also a monthly 
calendar that I use also every month. How cute is this one? And this is just kind of at a glance what my meals are going to be. I just love this planner so incredibly much. So if it is available on the website, definitely pick it up. They do have printables as well. My code down below gets you 10% off. So I'll link that down below for you guys. So this is currently the week of June 20th through June 26th. Today, Saturday, we actually are going to be going out to dinner with some friends. Sunday, oh, and Saturday is the day that I use my weeklies or have a higher caloric day on Saturday. On Sunday, I'm gonna be making a ground beef casserole. This is a very simple, easy recipe, but it sounds amazing, and it will be shown in next week's What I Eat in a Day on Wednesday. Monday, I'm gonna be doing air fryer chicken cordon blue. I never made this from last week, so I rolled it over into this week. Tuesday is coconut shrimp with rice. This sounds amazing, you guys. I can't wait. I love coconut shrimp, and it's usually pretty high in points because it's generally deep fried. We're gonna do this in the air fryer, so it's gonna be delicious. Wednesday is gonna be leftovers just because we will probably have quite a few leftovers from those other recipes. Thursday is instant pot risotto with scallops. I got these amazing, huge, juicy scallops in my butcher box. My goal is to film this video so that I can show you guys this Instant Pot recipe and these beautiful scallops from ButcherBox. I always have $30 off of a ButcherBox down in the description box. If you're looking for low, really affordable grass-fed, grass-finished meats, highly recommend ButcherBox and you save $30 on your first box, which is amazing. And then Friday is tacos. And we need a taco night in our lives, so we're gonna do that on Friday. On the back of the weekly menu is where I will track what I'm doing for meal prep. And you will be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday, so stay tuned for that. So I have carrot cake baked oatmeal as my breakfast for the week. I've been wanting oatmeal. I love carrot cake. So these two things paired together sounds incredible. Lunches is going to be a sheet pan balsamic chicken. You guys know I love balsamic. I use it all the time on my salads. And I thought a sheet pan would be really easy, quick lunch full of veggies and goodness. And then I'm making raspberry banana bread. So we're making banana bread with a spin on it with the raspberry. This is a healthy, clean eating bread that's really good in points. So definitely stay tuned for that as well as lunch and breakfast on Monday. So again, that is my meal plan for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. I do love this meal planner. So if you can get your hands on either the digital version or the spiral bound version, highly, highly recommend. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up for the week, as well as what's on my meal plan and my meal prep for the upcoming week. It's going to be a fantastic week of delicious, delicious recipes. Stay tuned on Monday to see all three of those recipes in my meal prep video. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around, hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. We'd love to have you be part of the YouTube community. It's a pretty fun place. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and you're excited for this week's recipes. Speaking of recipes, down in the comments, let me know what recipe you are most excited to try for your family. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. Check out the description box to come on over and join my Facebook group. Links and discount codes to my favorite things are also down below. Have a fantastic Saturday, my friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Ooh.